Hey guys and gals, this is Matt. Matt who? Just some guy from the internet, and welcome back to my walkthrough of Dynamite Heady. Today we move on ahead. <laughs> See what I did there? Yeah, it's a pun. I'm great. By the way, those marionettes that drop down, occasionally one will drop with a weird face. If you kill it, you get a secret bonus point. So let's just get on. This segment's pretty quick, to be honest with you. This level's actually pretty short. I love how Trevor Bruins in the background just peeking at you. These guys here are easy. I think you have to kill three of them. All they do is just drop bombs at you. Uh, a little, uh, something you might noticed along the game, the bad guys have this, I guess, logo of sorts. It kind of looks like a demon. That is actually Dark Demon's face. Just wanted to throw you, want to throw that out there for you guys. I love this. Listen to him. Oh, wow. What up? I love that. I think the guy spawns here. Hold on. He's supposed to spawn around here. I just don't know how to make him spawn. I don't know. That's the thing about these secret bonus points. Like, they're very random. Like, I don't know if you have to do something in particular to make them spawn, but occasionally they just spawn. I don't get it. If you guys know, please let me know in the comments below. I'd really appreciate it. And? Oh, he's taking us backstage. The backstage battle. I love this. Listen to this. <laughs> That's a secret bonus point. That, that, um, what's his name? The cat with the big green head. Sometimes he won't, like, he spawns Olsley at random, so. Don't know about that. This boss is pretty cool. I love this. You just have to keep hitting, hitting him as much as you can. When you see the arrow pointing down, hold down. If it points up, you hold up. You can lose a lot of HP. By the way, if you get that goat head, I call it the goat head, but it's really not. I'm trying to get it. I'm not going to get it. Never mind, that's fine. But if you get it, you can actually reach Trouble Bruin's head from uh, from afar. If you have the fire beam, it's actually kind of... Well, the fire beam. Why am I calling it a fire beam? The fire uh, shield. It can actually be quite useful when he starts spinning you around him. He's not that bad of a boss. Despite me taking a lot of damage, he's not that bad. He really isn't. The thing is, like, it's very easy to... I mean, you could take a lot of hits before you die. So it's not the end of the world. There, he's dead. No more trouble brewing. <laughs> I love how, like, it's... He has no body. He just puts his head on these machines. The green room! Here, if you want to sleep, sleep here and you recover HP. Unlike Kirby, the sleeping ability actually is useful. And you can reject it anytime you need to. Guest Puppet Invited. Ooh, the battle show. I love this boss. By the way, there's a way to earn a secret bonus point at this boss, and it's actually quite simple. I'll show you in a second. Look how weird this is. A puppet controlling another puppet. Weird, right? Well, if you kill uh, the top uh, puppet first, you'll get a secret bonus point. But you can kill also the bottom one. So, uh, I'll, I guess I'll kill the top one. I'm just trying to hurt the bottom one as many times as I can because it can be a little annoying. I find his pattern much harder than the uh, top guys. Because he'll just dance around and throw his cane. But I really want to show you guys the secret bonus point. So you know I'm not lying. There you go. This guy's a bit more annoying, to be honest. He has more attacks. He throws his cane and he throws little fireballs at little fireballs, little projectiles at you, and you can't hurt him. Well, he's dead. Never mind. Close encounters. Uh, another pun. We're ready at the next key master. I know, didn't take that much time. This guy is awesome. I think this is my favorite key master in the entire game. Check him out. I love this boss. Look at this. Isn't that awesome? He's a dragon. So just, you have to knock the clothes or the body parts that it tells you to, and then you can hurt his heart, that, which is his real HP. It's very easy to kill this, this guy very quickly. So I guess I'll show you all of his forms, because why not? This is a walkthrough after all. Well, a playthrough, and I would like showing off this game. His ballerina gear. Look at this. You gotta be careful here because 
Um, if you get that big head, you could get really screwed over. You know, the big head that happened to me earlier in the, the other Key Master boss. Oh, I killed him. <laughs> I'm such an idiot. Oh, I should have not killed him. It's alright. Whatever. I wanted to show you the other ones, but... Basically, they were uh, a robot. I think it was a robot. Is that it? Yeah, it was just a robot. I'm trying to remember. Can't remember now. I remember once I beat this boss... And, like, he just kept exploding, and it was a glitch. It just would not stop exploding. And it was basically a blocker. I had to reset the game. That was really awkward. I was really sad about that. <laughs> Got two out of four secret bonus points. Yeah. Yas. Same cinematic as earlier. Heather just comes. Goes cross-eyed. From the love... Hubba hubba. Look <laughs> at Dynamite Eddie. I don't know why I keep calling him Dynamite Eddie. He's just Teddy. I just love saying Dynamite Eddie. Has a nice ring to it. And Terminate Her 2. Hmm. Hit me. All right. Come on, hit me. <laughs> Let's do it. Hit him again. So, you know, I like this part. I remember, it, like, I was like, oh, I can't do anything. You just have to hit it. <laughs> That's all you got to do. Hit that and duck down here because that thing will hit you. I also love the music of this level for some reason. I really do. I don't know why. I always talk about games, you know, soundtracks, but for some reason, like, I don't know, the music just sticks to me. So, look at this. Look at the guy that the sumo wrestler, like, just, you know, cogging the gears in the background. Oh, I, I, oh, I made a boo boo. That's all right. If you didn't go all the way, headcase would have dropped down, you would have got ahead. But that's okay. We can take this guy without having a special ability. By the way, in the Japanese version, uh, this boss is, is a different design. It's actually like, I think a giant doll or something. But I like more this uh, castle guy. He looks cooler, in my opinion. Doesn't do much of anything. He'll just target onto you and fire. Really easy. He does look cool, though. Won't lie. There, you see? Very easy boss. <laughs> look at that puppet tangled in the air. <laughs> help me! Nope. We don't help no one here. Oh, you want... Well, if you get the vacuum, you could suck up the uh, points. But preferably if you have the hammer, this would make hitting these platforms a lot easier. But I really don't care. Oh yeah, by the way, uh, you want to hit this platform right here. It's a little hard. There you go. There you go. So now you won't drop. Or you just could take the hit. It's up to you. I'm just showing you how to play it safe, if you're that kind of guy who likes playing it safe. So yeah, again, the hammer power-up makes it a lot easier when you hit the uh, metal platforms. And those guys are si dancing in the background again. I love this part. I like how they kind of look like fish. It's kind of sad. Like, we just kill these guys. Look at them. They're dead. I'm sorry. Up here, do this as well if you want the secret life. I just like hearing Hetty say this. What up? I love that. I don't know. I just, I'm just gonna keep hearing it. This guy isn't. This guy could be annoying. You just want to hit that, and it'll drop right at him, and you beat him one shot. I used to have a lot of trouble as a kid with this guy, but it takes all. All it takes is one hit, but it is a very tricky shot. By the way, this guy here is actually considered an enemy for some reason. And you only see him that one part in the game. <laughs> He's just covering that drain. It's pretty funny. Hey, here, let's use the hammer. See, if you hit it, gives you more of a... Uh, all the impact counts for more damage, and it even includes for hitting, like, this metal here. See how much faster it is? Ugh. Let's kill these weird toy soldiers here. There's a lot of labor put into this show like just a bunch of guys just you know making this whole stage work uh what are we gonna do you can hit this i never did this before kind of curious i never went up i want to do it for the walkthrough because why not let's hit it again ah fuck it fuck it we're gonna go we're gonna go small i like being more small Look at that guy right there. 
Yeah, being small is fine. I can handle this. And of course, it, those blocks with the hammer icon means you can only be destroyed by a hammer. Sometimes you'd be like, how do I get past this? All you gotta do is just hit hit that right there. Get the hammer power up because we're really gonna need it. There's another one up there. Let's get it. Let's just get it. There you go. And... Am I gonna make it? Am I gonna make it? Yes, I am. I am gonna make it. I'm gonna make it. There we go. If you didn't make it, again, the head case is right there. And just move forward. Do, 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 do. Mad Max 2. In seven lives. Also, there is a secret bonus around here somewhere. And it's also, I think, spawn randomly. I remember for some reason I would always get stuck at this part. Oh, I think it's one of these guys that give you a secret bonus point. I just don't understand how, how it works. But yeah, I remember I used to get stuck at this part because I didn't know where to go. Like, I, I was lost. All you have to do is just turn here, right? Heather napped. Oh yeah, by the way, here's the secret bonus guy that I was talking about for bosses. Here, this guy. The white guy with the pom-poms. Just keep hitting him. Do, do, do. Oh, another thing I wanted to mention. In the Japanese version, every time you face a uh, key master, you would actually have dialogue. Fortunately, in the English version, he does not. <laughs> there he goes. Look at this. Look, Hetty, no key master. Heather beat you to it, but now she's gone too. Wow. This was anticlimactic. <laughs> no boss. And only got one out of seven secret bonus points. Oh, well. I guess we'll just end the part here. I know it wasn't that cinematic. But hey, there's a lot more to come. A lot more cool bosses to come, I could promise you that. Yes, Hetty! And next time, Hetty goes to the Puppet Tower of Doom. <laughs> See you guys next time.